Hey guys, it's Bub here. In this video, we're taking a look at Windows 8 on 10, which is a modified Windows 10 ISO that is meant to look like Windows 8. Now, we've actually taken a look at this in the past. I believe it was Windows 10 X8. However, this is a totally different iteration made by a totally different developer. And it's always really cool to see their different ideas and different ways that they approach certain things. Um, I, of course, found this on archive.org, the place where you can find all sorts of unique ISOs. Um, so let's take a look at this ISO and let's see exactly what it looks like and if there's even a point in this existing. All right, and as we can see, the first thing is that the installer image or the logo is modified. It says eight on 10, uh, literally eight on top of 10. That is actually like, I didn't realize that's why they called it that, but that's actually really cool. Um, and it's because it's Windows 8 built on top of Windows 10. I'm like connecting all the puzzle pieces right now because I didn't think of this. All right, we're gonna accept the license terms, custom install, and install to our VMware hard drive. Um, once this installs, we'll come back and we'll take a look at it. All right, and here we are. So this is like the regular Windows 10 out-of-box experience back from the original days of Windows 10, so like 1507, that July of 2015 original update. Um, this is unique. Um, you can connect to uh, your organization in one of two ways join Microsoft Entra ID. So something is pulling from the Microsoft server because Entra ID didn't exist in 2015. It was named Azure AD. So that is actually a little weird that it pulled and it says Entra. I don't know how it did that. We're in a local domain join, which will let us create a local account. And we're gonna call this Windows. Um, we're gonna skip the password because we don't need it. So they did change this text to say, read the instructions before using this mod. Um, we're not going to do that. <laughs> I don't actually know where the instructions are because I downloaded this from archive.org. I mean, as far as I can tell, there are no instructions. I mean, okay, the instructions are on the desktop, maybe, like in this window that came up. All right, and here we are. So first things first, I'm going to click configure start is back. Um, and all right, never mind. It already looks like the way that it should. I'm actually a little confused because the taskbar is like Windows 10. But it's like, it's really weird. Okay, so it's using this start menu, which isn't like the start screen. We're gonna close that. Uh, we're gonna run this tweak. Okay, maybe we should read the instructions. All right, activate registry tweak. Uh, right click, open, yes, yes. Error accessing the registry. So maybe, so here we actually do have to do a little bit of configuration here. The functions run activated on the desktop tweak, yes. So we need to somehow get this to run as admin. But I'm not actually sure how to get this to run as admin because it's unable to access the registry. So that's fun. Um, I don't actually know like, why this isn't working like file import desktop is that not a reg file what is this it is a dot reg file so where why is it not showing up in desktop that is so weird see oh because it's in c users public desktop okay i see what they did here c users public desktop public desktop there's this week Air accessing the registry okay so things might be a little bit broken um, let's go ahead and install VMware tools and then we'll take a look at this I don't actually know I mean what else do they want us to do um, in the start is back I don't actually know how to get there okay this is not turning out as well as I thought it would um, okay so <laughs> we'll just take a look at this funky operating system that I can't actually get to work the right way um, how it is which I know isn't like very optimal but hey I will we'll, we'll just take a look at it and we'll see what happens all right and we are installed here so we're gonna go ahead and do that and here we are a Windows 10 8 hybrid now obviously like I said there are instructions but we're I'm struggling with them because I can't actually get this registry tweak to install it won't let me install it so this is actually I want to say this is kind of, it reminds me of like a preview version of Windows 10 because it has so much Windows 8 so many Windows 8 attributes but also so many Windows 10 attributes so let's take a look at the custom start menu 
we can see that the start screen is there but it is not functioning probably because it's a registry tweak that won't work um, we have all sorts of pre-installed programs um, there we go charms are restorer that's in a totally different language turn it on okay cool it doesn't even know what it's doing okay um, start up Windows accessories your basic Windows accessories including getting started um, let's see if you want to open the start screen press control and Windows key that is not working probably because it's not actually finished um, system PowerShell uh, this should open yep original uh, kind of Windows 10 style here this is actually running let's take a look Windows 8.1 industry pro evaluation that's not there's no way that's right because this is windows 10 windows embedded 8 version 10 okay so it is the original uh 1507 build 10 to 40 uh, but they have customized it to say windows embedded 8 that's actually kind of cool but it was really confusing there for a second let's see what kind of personalization okay so we've got like all of the windows themes but we also have the default windows 10 theme which does roll it back to like you know what you would typically expect let's set it to lines and colors just because I, I like this theme um, it's really cool uh, let's take a look in the file explorer here I forget where it went oh it was right here we are using about 8 gigabytes of hard drive space so not bad at all actually um, you know it just it the UI up here above the taskbar and I'm sure that with the registry tweaks that I can't get to work it would look better uh, but above the taskbar, like this is like Windows 8 at its core. <laughs> Below the taskbar, though, it's like a totally different story. This reminds me, I mean, this is like the original Windows 10 multi desktop. I forgot about that. I missed the original. Um, let's take a look here. I can't remember if it was like this in Windows 10 or if this is a tweak because I can't find where to like add the search bar back to Windows 10. Um, but yeah, a lot of this is though, it's so weird. I mean, there's our notifications pane. I did that actually ship with Windows 10? Because if that did, that looks so bad. That is like actually insane that they decided that was okay to send out into the public. Um, here's our volume rocker. It was this. It's the same. This is actually it's the same as Windows 8 and 10. Um, yeah. This is a very fun trip down memory lane to say the least. I mean, I haven't seen Windows 10 like this in quite a long time, and it is actually trying to download um, Windows updates. And it actually is. It's downloading Windows updates. So I bet that's going to break some things once that actually installs. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure to subscribe for new out here as do all kinds of different technology videos, including device restorations. And with that being said, I'll see you all in the next one.